Hello everyone, um, I was asked if it's possible to do a Camille Saint-Saëns, the third symphony, second and third movement as a rehearsal. Uh, also was asked if it's possible while I'm doing the conducting part to uh, explain and to make more explanatory uh, examples since the symphony is pretty much complex and required complementary movements and conducting and gestures. Uh, well, that's what I'm going to do now. The first I'm going to do rehearsal part of the second movement of this third symphony and then I'm going to proceed with the third part, which is pretty interesting. There are a lot of moving forward and back of the tempo, uh, a lot of uh, so inside, uh, inner measure, uh, accelerating. Uh, or going retardando in the tempo, so uh, it requires a lot of concentration and ability. I strongly suggest when you do this uh, symphony, proceed of the models, how the composer create the models, what he's doing. In Germany we call this takt period system in dirigite, so which is mean uh, tact period system. We combine a few measurements in one gesture, in one beat. That's what we call tact period system. That's something that it's unusual for most of the conductors in the United States, but in Germany and uh, Europe, this is actually it's a common practice. So let's start from the beginning and I will be very appreciated if you watch exactly what I'm doing. This symphony requires a small movement from your body. Just be, if you train and work with this symphony, that's why most of us, when we do rehearsal, we sit on a chair. It helps the orchestra to be uh, more um, uh, close to you first and second you have uh, direct eye contact with them as well as it's you're more um, visible. Be aware of the fact that there are many accents and many support first beat. I mean structural beats like a pillar, musical pillar. This we call musical architectonic. The, the architectonic sense sounds create is actually like we call today 3D picture. So you see wind section as one part, organ section and uh, the drum section is the second and the third is the whole strings. The whole orchestra requires at least a hundred up to 120 people as an orchestra. This is a full double get to triple orchestra. So please be aware. So we start with the first alt-tuck or direct you know, upbeat, offbeat, and da-da-dum, 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 da -da You got to fix very well the first measure and beat. Make sure you put the forte accent into the wind. Where is the horn, uh, where is the uh, bassoons and stuff. Okay. Uh, let's start, you know.
timpani it's very confusing
in bent tempo. Trumpet. You see? One. This is tap period system. See, sometimes when we as a conductors use the the tucked period system, it makes the measurements and the counting. This is just the perception that orchestra player takes as a, as a technique to make um, make it easy to understand. So uh, sometimes uh, too much dividing and this could confuse and make more complications, especially in um, on something just like that. So this was just the more practical. Let's see how it's going to be 